next section is section 3.4, which talks about the product and quotient rules. The um, book uses the f of x notation as a derivative of f of x p of x. And it is not just straight the product of the two derivatives. It's actually the derivative of the first, second, plus the second, derivative of the second, So that is that rule. I, I write it a little bit differently. Right? I'm going to say that u and v function x. Write it u times v prime. First, second, second. Um, that's to make the notation a little bit shorter. In this case, v. Function of the same variable. So anytime I have a product rule problem, I always start out with I'm going to solve that. So the first problem I'm going to do is Example one from your textbook, which is on page 155. First one they want us to find is D, D of squared times two root V plus one. In this case, my U. I V two root E plus one. Um my derivative of U two V my derivative of V a reminder that um right up here on the right E over DX X X. So in that case, I'm going to get two over two square root of v plus zero, which is just one over three. Now I can use the formula. That um, answer is equal to derivative of the first. Second plus the derivative of the second times the first. D e, e prime u. So u prime is v. D e, two square root of v plus one. E prime is one over root v. U is squared. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the distribution, simplify everything. 2 times 2 is 4. V to the first times V to the 1 half is V to the halves, right? To V 1 is V. Then on the right hand side, I get v squared over the square root of v. And as far as I'm concerned, that would um, be an adequate example. Um, the book did write their final answer as four halves v 
Kaminsky. Here I have v squared minus over the square root of v, so that's a 2 minus a half, which would be 3 halves, plus to the 3 halves. So I guess I can simplify further. Halves. Um, 4 of something to the 3 halves plus 1 of something to the 3 halves is 5 of that something to the 3 halves. The second part of that example wants us to do the problem, find the derivative of squared e to the x. First function is x squared. Derivative is 2x. Second function is e to the x. Its derivative. My answer is derivative of the first prime prime derivative of the first. I get two x e is x plus the derivative of D, which is x u, which is x squared. I did write it as u times v prime. Um, remember, multiplication order does not matter. Uh, did that was to um, put the e to the x afterwards. Typically, we put the polynomial terms first. And I have a common x x both of these that out front that's going to leave me with two right hand side have a plus x simplified answer that. so again it's a rule that you should memorize the derivative of the first times the second plus the first does not matter which order you do either first derivative times second first or second derivative times first first because order does not matter. And it does not matter which order you write each one of these parts of the product, but you need to have all four parts together. Recommend that you always put some sort of template, either the way I did it on the first problem, parentheses with what's going to get the parentheses. Or you write the formula and underneath parts are. What I'm doing off to the right hand side is just to let me is just to help you out so you have all the parts that go into the puzzle. Um, don't necessarily have to do that, but I find it helpful when you first begin product. Our next rule is the quotient rule and I am not going to write it out the so I will write it out the long the book quotient rule the derivative of a quotient so I am taking the derivative of two functions same variable or one is the Numerator, one's the denominator. It's the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the denominator. See, I'm going to do it. Brackets are <clears throat> so if I want to use the UV notation, U, U, V, later, derivative 
numerator, numerator, instead of the denominator, for the denominator. Much more concise. Again, u and v functions of the same variable. Um, some teachers, where if you watch videos, some here it's say O e high, high, e low, where the denominator and away we go. So the bottom e, derivative of the top, up of the bottom um put that here for a couple seconds because it looked like I didn't have it all <laughs> oh let's do sample two there The first one is they want the derivative of x squared plus 3x plus over x squared minus 1. Now, just Looking at it, um, remember derivatives are limits, and one of the first things we did when we deal with limits is we wanted to cancel out any common factors. I want to do a quick check to make sure nothing will cancel. There are no two numbers that multiply to four that add to three. So the, I can't factor the top. That means obviously the factors at the bottom are not. So I am going to write down. Um, again, I need u, v, and u prime and v u is x squared plus 4. It's derivative. Multiply by the exponent, which is x. v, x squared minus 1 prime 2x. Now I have all the parts. So my derivative is the denominator x squared minus 1 prime. Prime is 2x plus 3 minus i with 2 squared plus 3x, plus 4, of the denominator, 2x, all over denominator squared, x squared minus I am going to need to multiply this stuff out and then find stuff on the top. Bottom, I'm going to leave alone. I'm not going to square it out. On the top, I get x squared times 2x is 2x cubed. Plus 3x squared. Minus 2x. Minus 3. Remember, I have a minus here for everything I'm multiplying out here which is going to be a negative 2x cubed minus 6x squared minus 8x. Now I'm going to go through and combine like terms. Um, my x cubes, 2x cubed, and negative 2x cubed are going to go away have 3x squared minus 6x squared squared. Um, then I have minus 2x 
minus 8x, which is negative 10x. And I have minus per squared squared. <clears throat> That's fine to leave it like that. I probably would have pulled the negative out of the top and re plus 10x plus 3. Again, all we do is we just use the um, rule. Think about it carefully. We use a template. We write down. The second part of that example want us to find the derivative e to the negative x. Hey, this is supposed to be a quotient rule problem, so let's rewrite that as a quotient. Remember, a negative exponent means to rewrite it as 1 over positive x. In this case, my u is 1, v is x, uh, v or v prime is x, derivative of numerator is so my answer is going to be numerator, numerator, numerator. e to the x, zero, minus 1 times all over e to the x squared. First term, e to the x times 0 is just 0. On the top here, I'm going to get e to the negative e to On the bottom, I get e to the 2x. And when I have um, same base, I subtract the exponents. 1x minus 2x would be a negative x. So negative e. I'm going to leave it in that form because it started out as e to the negative x, so I'm going to leave it in that form instead of um, writing it. That gets us through the product and quotient. And that's going to get us to um, us being able to expand the power. Um, in the last lecture, we said that the power rule was only good for positive. Um, so I'm going to say that we have some function x to the n. And I'm going to say that I can rewrite that um, x to the n as 1 over x to the negative. Be straightforward definition of negative exponent. And we'll call that I'm going to say that 1 over x to the m. Or in our case, m equal to x. Okay. What I want to do is I want to take the uh, because I don't know how to use the power rule for negative exponents yet. That's why I read what I want to do is I want to take the derivative of 1 over, okay, again, u, derivative of i v x to the m. And remember, m in this case 
here, my in was a positive integer. Both my in and m. Positive. Are positive integers. Okay. So um, my power rule for the derivative would be multiply by the exponent and subtract one from So if I want to actually find the derivative, I had it right. E U prime O D high I low. So my V X to the M mine is zero. Minus U is one prime M X all over E squared X again just like the last problem okay left with a negative M X to the S1 over X to the 2 M Okay, I am going to use, I have a common base, I'm going to subtract exponents, so I'm going to take m minus 1 minus 2m, negative m, x to the m minus 2m, negative m. And let's go back up here to the top, where if m is equal to negative n, negative m will take. I'm going to do that replacement right here. I get n x to the n 1. So what this is telling us is we are now have a new improved power rule. Which says um, derivative of to any power um, is equal to n x to the n minus one. Same thing. Multiply by the exponent. Subtract one from the exponent. And in this case, n can be any on zero. Our original power rule was good for positive integers. The new improved power rule extends that to negative integers. So I problem. Problems like that. So why would I want to use the new improved power rule? It's when you have single powers of the variable in the denominator problem. I'm going to do example four. One of these and E. They want the derivative with respect to time of 3t to the 16th. Over t to the 6th. Okay, I could use the quotient rule, but that would be using like uh, a really big sledgehammer to crack a walnut. Because I can rewrite this as 3t to the 16th over t to the 6th is to the 10th. And then 4, negative 4 over t to the 6th is negative 4, negative 6. Now I can just use the new improved power rule. Multiply by the exponent. 10 times 3 is 30. Back one from the exponent. 
Multiply by the exponent, negative 6 times negative 4 is positive. Subtract 1 from the exponent, e to the negative. We're done. So that makes it a lot easier to um, do problems. Again, I had a monomial in the denominator. Any time that you can rewrite it, um, that would probably be the way I would, or we couldn't do it because we did not know where that new power rule. So we've got one more rule or derivative that the section us. That is the derivative of e to the ax that is equal to k or k any real number So uh, I'm going to do a couple of examples that are like your homework problems. I'm not actually going to. Your first homework problem is 12. Um, it tells you specifically to use. Uh, it doesn't tell you specifically to use the product rule, but I would like you. Oven. And 11 is x minus 1, h of x. I'm x cubed plus x squared. Plus 1. They want us to find h prime of x. Function, second, second function, first, first function, derivative of the second, 3x squared, 2x, plus 1, plus, second function, x cubed, x squared, plus 1. Derivative of the first is one. And I'm going to multiply the right hand side out. Which cubed. I um, plus two x squared. Minus two, uh, minus three x squared. x minus 2x minus 1. And 1 times that is just again, so I cubed squared x plus 1. Look for my x cubes. 3, 1. x squared. Negative 1 plus 1, they cancel. X's have 1 minus 2, which is negative 1 plus 1. Cancel. Negative 1 plus 1 cancels. And I am. Oh. Not every time is all that stuff going to cancel out neatly like that. Um, it just happened to be in this case. It your next problem is problem twenty six. It's a quotient rule problem. So I'm going to do one similar to your twenty. Um, 
I'm going to do 22. Where I have 2e to the x minus 1 over 2e to the x plus 1. That's equal to f of x. Case my u, 2 the x minus 1. EU prime um, is going to be equal to 2e to the x. D, 2e plus 1. E prime is my derivative low over here o e i i i v x plus one times the derivative of u x this high Two e x minus one o x over the denominator squared two e plus one squared um two e to the x times two e to the x Four for the, the number part. e to the x times e to the x is this. e to the x times e to the x. End up with 4e to the x. 2e to the x. Minus 4e to the 2x. And a negative times a negative is a positive. 2e to the x. Over 2e to the x plus 1 quantity squared. When I go to simplify my answer, 4e to x is a. I'm left with 4e to the x. Up. Over 2e to the x plus 1 quantity. And now I want to do... Um, Your next one is 34. Thirty-four, they want to, more than just finding the derivative, they want you to find the equation of the line tangent. Then um it says use a graphing utility to graph them on the same axis. I want you to use Desmos to graph the original function and then the equation that verify that I am going to do problem. Um, I will get you the equation of the but I am not make sure you're go to 36. So 36 is y equals x. They want us to write the equation for the tangent line when a equals 1. So what I'm going to get is my P, my point that I'm writing the tangent line through, is at A, comma, F of A. I'm going to put a 1 in for X and a 1 in for that X. So I'm going to give the 1 over X, which is E to the 1 over 1, which is, that's the point I'm writing it at. So I need the slope, which is actually derivative. 
And that derivative is low, high, high, low, squared. We end up with x. Derivative of the numerator is e to x minus the numerator x. The derivative of the denominator over the denominator. And pull an e to the x out of both of these. Have an x minus 1 over x squared. Okay, now my slope when a is 1 is I'm going to put a 1 in here. I put a 1 minus 1, I'm going to get 0. Okay, and 0 times that is 0, and I put a 1 in there, dividing by 0. So my slope, y prime of 1, 0. If you have an equation that has a slope of 0, that is a horizontal line, okay, um, through whatever your y value is. So in my case, the equation of my tangent line, i.e. Oh, remember that's e to the first, not e to the x, so this is this is approximately two point. So if you were to graph this function, graph this, um, this e to the x over x, have access to my keyboard right now, but if you were to graph it, I would probably think get to my keyboard so I can graph it. Sorry that you see my arm there really quick. Y equal X. Not from there, get divided by X. I'm going to give you a rough sketch of this. It does something like this. And this is that point one comma e. This is the tangent line that is having us. Okay. That's thirty six. Um, your next homework problem is 48. Um, 48 is just doing derivatives with constant multiples of exponential. So I'm going to do one example. Um, you have I am going to Forty-six says y equals three x squared. X plus e to the negative two x. Let's just define if. I'm going to get six x for the first term. I get negative two. The second term, and for the third term, I'm going to get negative two e. The negative two x. Um, Forty eight. You're doing. You can either multiply it out and then use the product rule for the second term, or you can just use the product rule first and then. Then the last problem you have is problem. 
is a combination of stuff. So I'm going to do 67. 67. X. Or X squared. Minus 2X. Over 5X. They want us to find derivative. Well, the first term, the derivative is easy. It's just going to be 8x first power. Minus, now I have a product rule problem. Low x plus O d i i. i Derivative of high is 2, minus the top. Derivative of the bottom, which is 5, over bottom squared. Keep that 8x out in front. On the minus whole thing, 10x plus 2. Minus 10x over x quantity squared. 10x is cancel. And my final answer x minus 2 over the quantity 5x plus 1. So that is it for. Section 4.4, biggest thing is get stuck, just kind of take it slow, break it down into write your template. None of the derivatives that we are actually taking are very complex right now. You're multiplying by a single number or bringing your out front, acting just the get messy.